So let's start to look how to update the options in Chart.js. So how to do this? First of all, we need a border template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. And you can get this link as well. You can find it in the description box. So once you're on here, copy this chunk of code. Copy this, and then we're going to paste that in there, cut this out, and we're going to put this in here, save, refresh. So now we have this here, but you can imagine you would like to do some adjustments. So let's scroll down here and do some tiny adjustments first by default. For example, here we have here the scale, and what we would like to do is we want to remove certain values from the scale. So for example, I'm going to say here on the X scale, I want to adjust something, we're going to say a minimum value will be 2, meaning index number 2 will be shown, that will be Wednesday. So if I save this, refresh, as you can see here now, the chart loads with Wednesday as starting point. So of course we could do this as well with a max value where we can select anything else. But what we would like to do now is we want to load this from outside of the chart object, or at least we are not in here. So how do we do this? Well. You can imagine with this, we can also do a button, but I'm just going to make it very simple first. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say here, first of all, we're going to get the chart object, just my chart. That's this one here. Then what I want to do is, where do I want to go? I want to go from my chart to my configurations. And for my config, I want to go to the options. And then there we can go into the scale and then add a specific namespace. In this case, the X scale and then the minimum value. So how do we do this? We're going to say your config dot options, and then we're going to say your dot scales dot x. All right, and then we say your dot min value, and this min value will be now set on number two. Once we do this, we have to do here in my chart dot update to update the item, save this, and then refresh. And as you can see here, it immediately refresh or it will immediately uh, move the scale because it will readjust itself with the min value. Of course, now, as you can see here, this effect happens because we first start with no restriction and then after it's done loading, it recognizes this. So you can imagine we can use a button for this as well. So let's create a simple button here. So what I'm gonna do here is in here, button, and then we can say here, um, uh, min x scale and then we can just say here on click I'll just make it on click and then we're going to say here uh, change scale so we're going to grab this and then we're going to say here then we'll make a function out of it and then we have here this item and of course you can do it far more better with the add event listener but I'll just do it for this for demo purposes so then if I save this, refresh, you can see here nothing happens now, but if I click on this, it updates and now it moves the scale nicely. 